The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesamento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesamento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, I posted a chart of the German DAX and also the FTSE. As you can see, we had double bottoms uh, yes, today, and they've had a substantial rally following along with what we've done here. Folks, if you would have told me on Wednesday that this market was going to make a new high on Friday, I would have said, well, good luck with that. Well, that's what stops are for. Uh, fortunately, uh, what we were looking for hasn't even happened yet. We were watching the Russell because one of the rules that Jesse Livermore has always pointed out is that you want to sell the weakest. And as you can see here, we haven't even made a 61% retracement. We've only been as high as 22.65 today, which barely gets to the 65% level. Now, we might get there at uh, 22.79, and I have to leave that order in. And the reason why is if I can't do every pattern that I see, I can't do any of them. And because I don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't, but I know that the probabilities are on my side, and that's all I can do. And plus that, I have a stop in, you know. So I, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to worry about that. But fact that we did go in new highs in the S and P, we didn't do it in the Nasdaq, of course. The Dow Jones, I don't believe we did, but I stand corrected. Possibly, I don't think that we did. But we'll be uh, looking back uh, tonight over the weekend. I've got a lot of things going. We had a lot of action today in the grains and uh, had a big move in, in soybean oil. And But we've got some really great patterns coming up in some of these things. I'll share with you uh, one that I that I really like. Uh, just get this up here. Uh, uh, there's more coming because I'm doing a special report on these grains that I've told you about. But this is the one that I'm I'm really taking. Really, uh, this is the December wheat. You know, this is what we make our bread with, folks. But if we can get wheat down to about 590 a bushel, that's going to be a really good, uh, really good place. So look, you know, we've dropped over a dollar a bushel with all the fundamentals being incredibly bullish, and that reminds us that we got to remember to look at the charts because the charts don't lie to you folks they can give you misinformation fake news whatever they want to but they can't hide if the prices are going up there's more buyers if prices are going down there's more sellers so that's uh, what we're that's what we're watching on here yes there is a three drive pattern there in the e-mini because we've made higher highs over the last three days i mean i to see it move this big was uh uh, I, I thought it was coming in the middle of the night because once we cleared uh, 43.35, which was a 61% retracement, I said, oh, dear. I said, this is not going to uh, stop today. Being a Friday in an up week after what just happened, I mean, there is absolutely nobody in the world that could be bearish now. I mean, that – Well, I, hey, what do I know? I'm just giving you 10 cents worth. Norm Winsky will be our guest today. And I have a special announcement, folks. On Monday, we're going to have Stan Harley. He's going to be back in the saddle again. He's going to be a regular. He took a little break in here, but uh, he's looking forward to have a pretty good move. Um, the uh, Did corn move up today? I didn't get a chance to look at that because I was getting ready, prepared for the show. Uh, I, uh, I haven't uh, haven't looked at corn, so – I'm waiting for corn to get down just a little bit lower. The low I saw today was, but there was a report today, as I recall, and that's where, that's that's where, I, yeah, that's what we want. We want to get, we want to get lower. This is what we want to do. This is doing exactly what we want it to do, boys and girls. Let's see if I have that corn chart up here. Shut the front door and raise a rent. We've got it. Let's put it up here and we'll take a look at it. I'm going to, there you go. You'll see here we're at uh, 506. We've only got about another 35 cents to go. And folks, this is Merry Christmas there at 466 a bushel. If <laughs> It might not work, but boy, does that have a lot of stuff going for it. All right, let's uh, move on to a couple other things. Folks, we talked about this week about the, the Hang Seng Index over in uh, Hong Kong and the fact that it was so bearish looking at this long-term weekly chart. Now, let me share with you what's happened in Hong Kong this week as of as of uh, today. And I'll get this up here. This is the daily uh, 
chart of, and this is the reason why I bring it to your attention is because we have so many friends over there, and, and uh, I want to show you. Look, look at this. What we've done now, we've broken down below twenty-seven thousand, folks. Let me explain to you. You see where it says uh, one-year rally to fifty percent. Those number of days, in other words, those number of days coming down is the longest consecutive string of down days in the Hang Seng Index since 1984. That is a big move down. Now, that shouldn't scare you if you're long or short, because remember, the Hang Seng, I don't think it topped until... Oh, dear. Many years later. Because so it doesn't mean very much. In fact, it's got statistics on its side, but it's broken down. And of course, we've got a lot of things going on about uh, the tech companies and whatever. You can you know, write a storybook about all that stuff, which I have a difficult time uh, doing because I try to stay away from the news because honestly, folks, it really just um, it it confuses a technician. And if you just follow what the patterns are doing, you know, try to stay out of the way of the things that you don't understand and enjoy the things that you do understand. And I think you'll you'll find better. I've got this book on my desk here that I read all the time, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. And uh, it is uh, it's uh, it's really uh, it's really, really uh, great stuff. So I also have a book on my desk that's very good. It's The Mental Edge in Trading, done by none other than Jason Williams from John Hopkins University. He's a surgeon over in Shanghai, and he's the son of Larry Williams. He's wrote a great book about psychology, a lot of the things uh, that Mark Douglas has talked about, all the truth. The truth that this these are manipulated, as in sales. No, Ruby, they're no, no, no. These are not manipulated. They they can manipulate them within within limits. But no, the the, the reason why, Ruby, honest to God, the reason why is that they follow the numbers. They follow A B C D. They follow the ratios. Just because you get it wrong doesn't mean that it's not working. No, really. I mean, when this thing made a new high, I, you know, what what are you going to do? You know, you're wrong. You just got to stand aside. And I'm not, I'm not even short. What I'm looking at, I was wa watching to see if the uh, if we could get the, uh, the the Russell there, and I I'm not even going to get filled on that today. That's 25 points away. So no, there's nothing wrong. I've looked at that, and I hear about the Fed, and I'm sure the Fed's in there doing their thing. But let me ask you a question: If the Fed was doing their thing, where were they in 2008 when the market dropped 80 percent? Where were they in 2000 when the market dropped 89 percent? Okay, I mean that just is not it. That's pretty much it. You know, we'll have to see uh, see what it says. Anyway, there. I do not believe they're they can't be manipulated because you see the you see the fib numbers during the day and you see the patterns during the day. If they're manipulated, they're manipulated to a natural law. You know, that's that's really I mean, I, I keep this thing as simple, simple as possible, folks. It's right here, right out of old Mr. Mandelbrot himself. A, B equals C, D. When I see that, that perfect example, folks, look at the Treasury bonds on Wednesday. We sold Treasury bonds right into the the you know, the dragon's teeth, uh, just as it was going straight up. And what did it do? The dragon shut his mouth and the bonds dropped two and a half points. So your risk was your risk was about six hundred dollars and it's paid you twenty five hundred dollars in two days. So that's not manipulated market and the bond market's one heck of a lot bigger than the stock markets. Hey, we're going to take a break. Eight, seven, seven, nine, two, seven, six, six, four, eight. rise and fall like the tides subscribe to basil chapman's newsletter the opening call and you too can ride the wave basil chapman is an authority in technical analysis his chapman wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984 TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 Internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of the Dow Jones, and we've taken out the highs of the week. We haven't made new highs yet. We're only 100 points away, which uh, we could certainly do that by the end of the day without uh, too much trouble. You know, we have to have a hats off to, you know, Tim Boss because, I mean, he he said the 7th and 8th were going to be, uh, you know, bonker days. And, boy, has he been right about that. That was his Zeus effect that he talked about. And we'll have him on next Wednesday. And Stan Harley, of course, will be on uh, Monday. But uh, I think it's really amazing that uh, those things worked away. Well, if that was the reason, hey, and I don't even know if that was the reason or not, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, now we've uh, – one other question that someone asked me about is about the uh – uh, the, the difference in the grains. Well, each one of these grains is different, folks. They have different fundamentals, different uses, and everything like that. And being a technician, you just look at the price, and that's it. Yeah, Ruby, this is why we were looking at the the Russell. If you wanted to short something, you always want to short the weakest and and buy the strongest. That's really what you're supposed to do. Right out of Livermore's book and 61 years of experience tells me that that is flat out right. And uh, you want to do it just like in just like here in the neighborhood. We've got a, a mountain lion that's been around. Uh, for two weeks here, we've lost several little animals, a couple of cats, and uh, and a turkey. Some guy had a pet turkey that was history, and one one little puppy. And so we've lost some animals because of that. And so what they have now, they've got the the uh, animal control people here uh, early in the morning around 3 o'clock with their stun guns trying to catch this 200-pound uh, mountain lion. I mean, he, he's been across the top of my house twice in the past month. And guys, boy, you talk about something makes a loud noise at that time in the morning. It's really, uh, it's really quite amazing. Okay. Now I wanted to uh, bring to your attention the fact that we are looking at the Dow Jones industrial average, possibly making new highs. Now I still believe that the, the number that we're looking at here, and I'm probably going to be wrong here in the next week, but we haven't made new highs yet, but the NASDAQ weekly, that number came in at 148.82, and we have not taken that out as of yet. We could today or even Monday, but uh, that has not taken out. As Basil would say, we have a bifurcated market, and that's neither here nor there. 
Regarding the gold and the silver, let's take a quick look here, but what we were looking at the other day with this divergence that we had when gold was got up around the 818 level, and we broke all the way down to uh, 794. We didn't get below the low of Wednesday, so that, that held, and we went back today and had a high of 711 and change. I think we're trading at 711. We're trading around 810 right now. So uh, we have a, have a stop at break even on that. But if we notice on the silver, you know, silver still hasn't exceeded the 382 level. That that in itself, you would think it would be bearish, but you know, this is a this is what you're looking at. The market still wants to go higher. More people are coming in, and that's uh, that's what you're looking. The thing that's going to be really important for me today is I want to really be watching the open interest and in what's happening with all of these uh, things that are making new highs today, like we're seeing in the uh, S&P and in the, um, what's the other one that's making new highs? Uh, well, we've got to check the NASDAQ too, but especially the S&P, because uh, you ha if you have a big drop in open, I don't believe we're going to see that, but if you had a drop in open interest, then it'll really be, uh, it'll be quite interesting. So that's it. Yeah, the hogs are down about, uh, they're down to 100 bucks. Remember, folks, when we had that ABCD in hogs, you know, they were trading at almost 120, and uh, that's been one heck of a move. There's a perfect example of where, you know, you think you're you think you're looking at something that, you know, everybody's trying to tell you how bullish it is up there with your perfect ABCD, folks. And if you look at it, we, we, we the top was due June 7th. Guess where the top came in? June 7th. In other words, the number of days between A and B and C and D were exactly equal. And they were equal in price. That's a perfect ABCD pattern. If you can't take that pattern, you can't take any of them. Because it's just, it's just probability. I keep uh, ringing the bell. I did a... Uh, I did a show yesterday for a uh, uh, fellow who does uh, uh, trading psychology, and uh, actually was on for an hour and a half. They asked, you know, going over what I had, you know, how I had learned some of this stuff and everything. But uh, believe it or not, folks, <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Okay, let's move on. There was not one question. No one, no one asked me one question. So I think it was a fictitious audience, but I don't know. <laughs> I'd have thought I got one question. Okay, let's move on. Here's another one that, that this is most probably getting ready to have something really dramatic happen. We've, In fact, we've already seen some of the drama, drama behind it, and that is the uh, – the corporate bond market, because if it continues to go higher here, let's get this up here with the Fed pumping money and stuff. Uh, yeah, well, maybe I explained it very well. I just talked about stuff, you know. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're, we're making a beautiful Gartley pattern in corporate bonds. And, and since what's happened in the regular U.S. Treasury bond market with that big drop, you know, we dropped almost, well, we dropped almost three handles now from the high. Uh, in just three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's a sign that that market has certainly, uh, you know, made a big, big move to the downside. Now, the way, the way we like to play it here at 24/7 is we we use the old 382 rule, just like we're looking at some of these other things on the 382. So we'll be watching the 382 on the Treasury bonds to uh, possibly get it. By the way, folks, those to, those of you that are in the crude oil. You know, that's been very good to us. And today we made a 61% retracement in crude oil um, within 10 ticks of, of the exact 618 of the whole move down from 77 and change down to 77, you know, 10% drop. And we rallied back 61% today. So that's another one that's very interesting. So got a lot of things happening in these markets and we want to be able to enjoy our fruits. But the only way you can do that, boys and girls, is to protect yourself with stops because if you're not using stops, uh, you're, you're especially in these kind of markets, you're you're a, you're a, a long gone goose. I think we have a, uh, a rally extension for Apple. Now, Mr. Z is asking about Apple. Uh, Apple has made new highs. I, I believe once we went above that, uh, the extension on that will be the 127, and that takes it to 148. Uh, Mr. Z, that would be a 1.27 extension because we have we have made new highs. What you know, we, we we followed Apple pretty nicely, folks. You know, we watched we watched it at the importance of 128 when it went above 128. We said it was going to 135. After it went to 135, we said it was going to 138, and after that, we said it's it's on its way, and that's what it's done. That's where the, when the pattern when the patterns are moving in that direction, it tells you that the strength of that market. 
you know, you 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 want to you you can trade those from the short side, but when they go above it by just a little bit, something's wrong. That's what we, you know, it's it's gosh darn it's I keep repeating it's just like a broken record, but it's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. You know, that's the the real beauty of what we're doing. You know, we got Norman who calls it to the minute. Winsky is going to be coming up here. Uh, in a half an hour. And remember, Stan Harley on Monday, and we got Tim Bost on Wednesday of next week, and we're going to have some rocking and rolling action because of the holidays. Uh, even though it's reduced traders, if they say that, and I don't believe that it is, we're still going to have some huge swings. So let's keep uh, keep that in mind. So we're going to talk to Mr. Winsky when he comes up. We're going to have a little break with the music coming. So if you have any questions for Norm, it's 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have in the house Norm Winsky from Astro Trends. Norm, are yes, you sir, there? Larry. Hello, Larry. How are you, my friend? Good. Thanks for having me on your show. It's my pleasure. You know that they had a murdered FBI agent in Terre Haute, Indiana this week. Did you see that in the news? 
Yes, sir. I think the yeah. story, I think. Yeah, well, he happened to be a cousin of one of my cousins, you know, by marriage and stuff. But he was a nice fellow. Really? He was a, yeah, he did. Related yeah. to you? Uh, I never met him and no, nobody else in the family. He's like, you know, related. One of the cousins' cousins, you know, by marriage, you know, okay. Tennessee, Tennessee type stuff. <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey, listen. Why don't you tell us what's going on in the markets and give us your best assessment of what we're doing? So you got the the mic and please go ahead. Well, like uh, I usually do, I'd like to, you know, I made some forecasts when I was last on your show on June the 21, and I made some forecasts. We'll see how those those came out, because then we can learn. Maybe oh, these cycles repeat, so we might be able to give us a clue what's coming up when they repeat, you know? Okay. So, so let's see. I last reviewed, let's see, I went over the uh, 21st was a Monday. Is that right? Yep, that's right. And so I, I, we had the weekend, 18th weekend, and over that weekend we had Jupiter and Pisces turned retrograde. And by the way, if any of these uh, technical terms you don't understand them, give me a call. I'll be happy to explain them. Okay. So Jupiter, most uh, most of the, your veteran listeners know what retrograde is on the planets, I think, and therefore that that's a big deal. Jupiter is the large biggest planet in the solar system. And all of a sudden, relative to the Earth. It's shifting its uh, angular moment, momentum, momentum. You know, there's a change there. Uh, Mr. Einstein would tell you everything in relative. And so when there's a change in the relationship, that could cause a change in the markets. All right, so that we like Pisces is oil. That's the big liquid. And, you know, Pisces is where the fish swim in, in, the, in the big liquid there, you know. So then we had on the night of the 22nd, we had Mercury and Gemini turn direct. Anytime you have the the uh, by the way the all these events uh, potentially can affect the stock market. So I've stopped repeating stocks every time. It kind of gets uh, redundant and saves me a little bit of work. So just assume the st we're going to look at the stocks for all these events. But the uh, the commodities are specific to only certain planets and certain sites. Mercury is the green. So you get your corn, your beans, your wheat. You got your full moon. We round up the usual suspects for. Full moon, new moon, financials, grains, special metals, and in this case, because it occurred in Capricorn, we're running a special on coffee. And then we have the uh, the night of the 24th. We had a couple things on the night of the 24th. We had Neptune turn retrograde. And again, Neptune is the ruler of Pisces, is in Pisces, and that was oil. Then we have the night of the 25th. That was Jupiter lined up with, in Aquarius, lined up with Uranus and Taurus. And as you might guess, the, the, the Taurus, the bull, might have something to do with cattle. And the Aquarius is the uh, uh, electrical sign, and copper is the electrical conductor. And then cotton it goes with Taurus. So there you go. And then the night of the 25th, we had a heliocentric. That helio is from the point of view of the sun. And it went into the sign Virgo, which is the sign for Soybean. So now we're going to go over these and see how it all came out. So here's your crude oil. Okay, I bent the rules a little bit here. I like to be right. We want to be right within one day, but what if it's a matter of a few pennies? Uh, you know, it's obviously a lower high, and we're off by just a few pennies. We might stretch the rules a bit. So here I bent the rules a little bit to allow for that day over the weekend of the 18th as a low. Here's the actual low there. On the 17th, we're looking for the for the low to occur over the weekend there, and so there you go. We're going to count that as a winner. Green arrow is a winner. You had a chance to make some money. If you see a red arrow, that means you did not have a, a good chance to make some money. And if you see a yellow bar, that's a, where the market is going sideways, and you should do nothing. Here we have the market is kind of trending higher here into our next window for oil. And that was just a, a little bit in price and one day ahead of that top there. Here's gold is going sideways, so we do nothing. That's a good old Newton's law, you know, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. There's silver going sideways. This is for the moon. That was the moon there. And usually they respond, but this time they didn't. So we do nothing. Here's copper. It made a top there, a little bit of a top there. It's kind of subtle. He made a little bit of a pop there, and so we're going to count that as a potential winner. Here's cattle, a little more obvious. It kind of popped up there into our, our Taurus window there and made a top. 
and had about a two-day pullback. That's good for about, looks like about three handles there, $1,200. Cotton is rallying up into that same window, and it topped us a few pennies higher, and then it had a big drop. That's also a winner. Here's coffee. Okay, not doing anything there on the official record, uh, but you notice how it came to the end of this formation here, right on our window, uh, the mole as the moon, uh, the full moon in uh, Capricorn. Okay, which was the sign for coffee, but didn't do anything there because it was kind of, you know, it had to get into more complex rules to allow for that, and not going to do that here. All right, so corn was coming down into the moon, uh, Mercury going direct. And that didn't stop it yet, but it did on the next day was a low. And so there's your moon. And so that was a nice low there for the corn. And then you had the big, big rally. Here's your beans. They, they did something similar and they went uh, one more day, you might say, as Mars went into Virgo, which was the uh, sign for soybeans. And then they also had a nice big rally. And here's wheat. Uh, missed again on the Mercury, kept going a little bit lower, but then we caught the moon, and then you had the nice rally in the wheat. Here's S&P. That's kind of rough sailing here for the S&P. We made the Jupiter retrograde low right there on the, you might remember that. That was the low, I think the low of the month there, over the weekend of the 18th, and then you had the big rally, and then we had a little bit of a one-day high here. We pulled back about 40 handles. And then they, these four points did not work, so rough sailing in the S&P. T-bonds was going sideways for the moon, and so we did nothing. Here's the dollar, had a little pullback low there, and then a rally. And here's your Aussie dollar. The currencies tend to dance with the moon, and you see here how the Aussie dollar rallied right into the moon, topped out and went down. Here's your pound. Uh, it was going down in the moon. I guess kept going. There's a good example of a miss. And here's your rally. A uh, euro rallied into the moon and made a top, and it went down. And here's your yen went down into the moon, and then went up. So we got 15 winners, eight misses out of 23 for 65.21%. And here's what's coming up. So we had uh, now obviously, <laughs> obviously the seventh. Is uh, by the way, I want to echo what uh, Larry was saying earlier, and reinforce that if you're looking at government data or crop reports or Fed numbers, whatever it is, it's late. It's after the fact. This stuff tells you what to look at before the fact. That's what you want. Oh, we got music coming. Yeah. Well, you got to pay a few bills, my friend. We'll be back, and we have two questions for you. But let's continue with the commercial. We be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, we're back, folks, talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Norm, we have a question for one. Actually, we have two questions. The first question is, is this particular full moon that we're having now of significance with apogee, perigee, or uh, going across the equator? All right, Norm. And tonight, we're gonna, I'm going to get into that here in just a minute. We're going to have a new okay. moon, and it's not lined up with oh, new apogee yeah, or, moon, or perigee. That, that, that occurs about every uh, seven months. You know, it's like a... Uh, alternating cycle, seven months, 14 months, and we're not in the, we, that was a couple months ago, we had the, uh, mm -hmm. called the syzygy cycle there, you know, and they line up, you know. Mm -hmm. All okay. right, what's the next question? Next question is, uh, when does Jupiter go retrograde? Uh, we had, uh, we just had that, I think, uh, on the 18th of June. Okay, that's what, that's what the question was. Okay, that's our answer. So you go ahead and continue, my friend. All right. So anyway, I was saying about, uh, you know, fundamental data, it's all after the fact. And so why would you want to do uh, trade on something that's late? You know, it's like it's like last week's bagels. You know, think about bagels. I think it's fast, stale faster than a bagel. You know, right? <laughs> so Spaghetti, anyway, I know. Well, bagels, not so much. <laughs> what's that? Spaghetti, I understand. Bagels, not so much. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. So, you know, if you ever leave hey, a bagel have... out. Leave a bagel out for a day or two and you have a brick, you know, there you go. It's hard, you can't eat a brick, you know. So anyway, the point is that, you know, this stuff tells you what's going to happen in advance. You line this up with your ABCD and if you get that price pattern, then you got all your ducks in a row, I think, you know. So you got a, I should have a high probability for a good opportunity. So anyway, I'm going to go back two steps here to, because we got something sort of repeating here now. Now, the Moon's North Node, it's an 18.6-year cycle, and the last time this happened, on the night of the 7th, this is the moon's north, they lined up with where Uranus was on July the 4th, 1776, when the country was founded. And if you go look, well, let's go look at the chart here. I'll go back to the S&P chart. There we go. There's the night of the 7th right there. And you see you made a nice top there, and then boom, big down on the 8th. You see that? Mm -hmm. So that was a nice point there, okay? And what's crazy about that is, you know, Benjamin Franklin was an astrologer who advised Thomas Jefferson on when to start the country. And they didn't know about Uranus then in 1776 because it wasn't discovered, uh, uh, you know, William Herschel and his sister didn't discover it until 19, uh, sorry, 19, 1781, you know, mm -hmm. that's like 15 years later. So, and it, it, but it still works anyway, you see, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, so that's going to be repeating. It will be, you'll see that's going to kind of be a cousin of that. It's going to be repeating here in, in just a few days. Uh, now back to the new moon here. Uh, we got a four, a one, two, three, three event cluster here this weekend. We have the new moon in the sign of Cancer. 
Round up your usual suspects, financials, greens, precious metals, and because it's in cancer, that's a sign for silver. You know, it's ruled by the cancer, ruled by the, the silvery moon, you know. So there, watch the, your, your, okay, so there's an emphasis on silver. And then uh, we got Jupiter lining up with, uh, oh, here we go. You know, Jupiter's going to line up with the U.S. Uranus. And we just had the U.S. Uranus back there on the night of the 7th. Major change in trends, stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then we also have Mars apihelion. That's he, 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 anytime you see H-E-L in uh, word, or these words, that's from the Greek for sun. Helios is Greek for sun. So A, and if you say A in the front, that's a far. So Mars will be at as far as this point in its two-year cycle around the sun over this weekend. And because it's the sun, anything bright golden or glittery is what we'll be looking at. And you got corn is golden. Gold is golden. And OJ is the sunshine drink. Is it? So that we'll be looking at those. You want to look at those markets. You might want to take a screenshot of this for your future reference, you know. And then the night of the 13th, that'll be Tuesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon. The moons will again line up with the U.S. Uranus, which is similar to what we had the night of the seventh. And then we have the uh, oh, the the uh, weekend of the sixteenth. We have one of my other top points is Mercury zero north latitude, and that again is greens. So there's a major point in your greens, and also all these points apply to the stock market. And this is often a big higher low for the stock market when plants get to zero latitude. Okay. Now I thought. Uh, any questions on that stuff before we go ahead? Uh, no, we have uh, we have one other question, and that is um, when you found the Bradley book. This how, what year was that? Uh, that was 1970, 1971. 1971. And from there I found you went on. I found it at the Crockett bookstore and right down the street from you, Larry. And Honey, Honey Creek, Creek Square. Square. That's right. Honey <laughs> Creek Square. Right. I used to yeah. have to, you know, downtown to, uh, Terre Haute. Obviously, it's going to school. ISU there downtown was kind of deteriorating because all the traffic was moving out to the shopping center, you know. So if I didn't need, need to do any serious shopping, I had to get on the bus and go out to Honey Creek Square there. Wow. And then when I had to wait for the bus to go back to school, and so I, went, you know, I was looking for something to do, kill time, and I'd go in the bookstore and browse around until it was time for the bus. Wow. That was my second now, find there, my second big find there at Crockett Bertano's. Uh, the summer before, I stumbled on astrology for the first time. So anyway, how many years so anyway, were you on the, how many years were you on the board? How many years were you on the board of, uh, on the board of trade options? Well, CBOE and board of trade, I did that for 12 years. 12 years, wow. I landed there right out of school. One week after leaving school, I was on the floor of the CBOE as a member of Market Maker. Well, you had to have probably show your ID to get in. If you're old enough to do it. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I have my membership, you know. Yeah. Okay. How, let's how go much, to the next how, thing now. I'm going to go, talk go about right fractal. I'm going to talk about fractals. What is a fractal? A fractal is a repeating pattern at different levels of order. The simple, the best example that I can think of are pine trees. A pine tree, the branches look like miniature pine trees, and the little twigs look like miniature branches. It's the same pattern repeating. At different levels of order, if you take some, some, if you take a, a fractal says that you can take in nature, you can find things where you can take a small piece of something, and then if you blow it up, you can see what the bigger thing looks like. See, so I'm gonna not go into detail how I do this, but you don't need. I figured out a way to do this at a grade school level because that's how I have to do things. I this you know you're talking about Benoit Mandelbrot was obviously a mathematical genius. I'm not at his level. I had to figure out a simpler way to do this stuff. And so I've got this thing where a 10-year-old can do this. And uh, the, here we go. Here's T-bonds for last year. The blue bars were based on the January price section. That's just like the branch of the pine tree. It's a fraction. It's a portion of the whole picture. And then I extrapolate that out for the year. And then we at the end of the year, I overlaid the prices on top. And you can see... Uh, the train wasn't on the track yet. It took a couple of months to get there. And, but once the train got on the track about March or April, it worked out pretty well. You see that? So anyway, if you want to uh, learn more about this, give me a call. Uh, you might persuade me to give you a class on this. It takes I can do the whole class in about 15 minutes. I can basically give you lots of examples. 
or you can do the express version for about two minutes, you know. And it comes All with right. the money back guarantee. Absolutely. Stay with us, Norma. We'll let you tell the folks how they can reach you, okay? Okay. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Norm Winsky. How can the folks reach you, Norm? Okay, first I want to remind everybody, I realize that when you look at this stuff, you're not familiar with it, it looks complicated. But almost everybody that takes my classes after I explain this stuff, so wow. That's really simple, and that's my whole goal is to make things simple. You know, Einstein said simplicity is genius. I'm not saying I'm a genius, but my goal is to make everything simple, you know, take complicated stuff and make it simple. So anybody can learn this stuff. I promise you there's nothing here that I'm doing that's over grade school level, okay? You can learn this stuff. So here's how to get a hold of me now. Uh, let's see, there's my phone. I'm in sunny Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. There's my email, Ann Winsky, M. Bark with a Q in the middle, mail.com, or you can find me, uh, you can call me anywhere in the world. If you're on Skype at Ann Winsky underscore one. And let's see what else we got. Oh, and everybody have a great weekend. And take a picture of my contact information so you contact me. And within a couple of minutes, you might persuade me to uh, show you how I do this fractal. It's very simple. I promise you, I can uh, train you. Uh, I got a, I had to hire a ten-year-old to do that because I ain't smart enough. No, I'm just, just kidding. 
<laughs> anyway, so there you go. Everybody have a great weekend. Let's see. I'm going to get you to the beach right now. Let's see. Where's the beach? There you go. Here's the beach. There you go. Now we're on the beach. You see that? A little fun. Okay. okay. Thank <laughs> you, Norm. We'll have you on soon. Be safe. Have a great and weekend. Enjoy, and enjoy the you, new moon. If you don't mind, you can etch me in for, uh, how about the 23rd on the moon, on the full moon? 23rd of July. This sounds yes, like sir. a good idea. We're going to put you in here. Norm Winsky on Friday the 23rd. Thank you, Norm. Have a great weekend, my friend. Thank you very much. Looking forward to hearing from some of your folks. Looking forward to helping them. Okay. All right, okay. folks, listen. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and try to do something for your neighbors. And uh, we'll have a great time next week with Stan Harley starting out, and then Tim Bost on the on the 14th, which is start of Basil's uh, show. Try to get there on the 14th and the 28th of July. Don't miss Basil's show. 